Welcome back. If there is going to be any severe weather in our region tonight, their main threats would be damaging winds, 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts, and some large hail. The wind threat might be a little bit higher by the time the storms get to us, and the threat of any tornado is rather unlikely. But we do have a southeast wind right now, with sustained winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour, bringing in the moisture, and we have dew points in the mid 60s, so it is still quite muggy out there, but not super hot. Temperatures in the 70s in our eastern counties, low 80s in Minot, Mohall, Bowbells, Stanley, and Partial. But even farther to the west at 90 degrees once again in Williston, 88 in Sydney, and 80 in Dickinson. And there is some more development of these thunderstorms in eastern Montana, northeast Wyoming, and western South Dakota. That's where a severe thunderstorm watch is in place, and we'll see these storms gradually move towards our region. But a lot of this activity right now in eastern Montana will remain in the Treasure State with these storms having a bit more of a northerly trajectory, and then some strong storms along I-90 from the Black Hills towards the Badlands. But for us, we've got these scattered thunderstorms developing. The breezy southeast wind continuing this evening, but will be remaining dry through sunset probably through about midnight. It's between midnight and 3 a.m. when these strong to severe thunderstorms will be headed our way and then pushing off towards the east as this cold front sweeps through. So these scattered storms will continue overnight before pushing off towards eastern North Dakota with that cold front and will be drying out by tomorrow morning. Here's a 7 a.m. snapshot and then we'll have a mostly sunny sky for our Thursday with warm and humid conditions and highs in the 80s, but high pressure settling in. So overall, a nicer pattern to wrap up the work week, albeit with increasing temperatures. But for tonight, lows at about 60 to 64 degrees, and those thunderstorms will be moving through, especially after midnight. So you might be awoken by a few of these rumbles of thunder. The storms will probably be weakening a bit as they get towards us, so the severe potential is not as high for our region as it is farther to the west. But here's 2 a.m. with these thunderstorms rolling through, pushing towards our eastern counties and, and lingering by about 6 a.m., but then uh, pushing all out of our region by the time you're probably waking up. The sun's rising, and we've got abundant sunshine for our midday on Thursday, highs in the low 80s, and then the wind out of the northwest between 10 and 20 miles per hour with comfortable temperatures into the evening, albeit with some more humidity tomorrow after the rain falls tonight. And we could see a quarter to three quarters of an inch, maybe upwards of an inch here in north central North Dakota. Higher chances of rain in our region compared to other parts of the state, again, depending on the exact placement of these thunderstorms in the overnight. But then the sunshine returns by Thursday, midday and afternoon, especially with highs in the low to middle 80s. Upper 80s being introduced to the forecast by Friday with a lot of sunshine. Wind between 10 and 20 miles per hour the next couple of days, but then gusts by Saturday upwards of 30 miles per hour. And that'll be the hottest day of this forecast, 91 degrees on Saturday. Isolated chance of a shower or storm through the weekend and, to, and into early next week as temperatures decrease next week, Joe, back down to more seasonable levels in the upper 70s and low 80s. All right, thank you, Jacob.